Hello, cheapskaters. Welcome back to my kitchen in my home among gum trees here in Australia. This is where I prepare the meals for my regular sized family. Thought I'd get that in there. It is a working kitchen. I work in it all day, every day, it feels like sometimes. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you along with me tonight. I have some chicken that needs to be processed. We've finished dinner, cleaned up. Everyone's moved off to do whatever they do after dinner. And I'm here with the knife, sharp knife, chicken and bags. I'm going to do dump packs tonight because we have a really busy couple of weeks coming up and I need things I can just pull out and tip into the slow cooker, put it on low, leave it to cook all day and no dinner is done. Canning is great and it works really, you know, put together a meal really quickly, but sometimes dump packs work just as well. So I have three that I want to do. They will be double ups. So I'll be doing two of each and the recipes are on the website. So if you go to Cheapskates Club, Dot net and type in chicken dump packs you'll be able to log in and get those recipes the first one i'm going to do is a barbecue chicken dump pack because we just love barbecue chicken and the next one is tropical chicken this one's really refreshing and all i do with this one is put it over rice it's so good and the last one's going to be a simple teriyaki they're all pretty basic they all use pantry ingredients. And while I sort of got some stuff out before I thought, oh, I should take you along on this journey, um, I haven't really done much else. So it's sort of in real time for you. And we'll work out just how long it's going to take to do these six dump packs. So without any further ado, there's the chicken. Let me get it over to my, oops, sorry about that, cutting board. And I'm going to pop you down so you can see what I'm doing because it hasn't been diced. It's still, um, still in whole fillets. So here we go. Right. They're really big fillets too. Now, somebody was very concerned the other day. I got a comment that my knife was blunt. I don't have blunt knives in my kitchen, but those onions, oh my giddy aunt, were they slippery little blighters. They were shockers. Now I will say I've already washed my hands. So you didn't see me do it, but I did it just before I hit the record button. Through this. out of the fridge the out of, out of the freezer the other day to um, use to make freezer room actually and didn't get time to do anything with it so here we go now I know it sounds mean and mingy but if you cut your chicken into nice small pieces you will be able to it, it looks like you get more out of it is all it's a really simple way of making a little bit look like it's going a long way or stretching it if you need to so you can do that too now we're checking on tuesday night's live show how about how to survive in tough times, how to, how to live pretty much in tough times. Times are pretty tough at the moment. People are struggling. I'm not really 
feeling our government saying that let's move that over there that's two let me do another two um i'm not really feeling you know that the inflation is easing and Whatever. It was good news. Interest rates didn't go up. Very happy about that for those who have mortgages. But seriously, folks, times are tough. Prices are still going up. Everything's more expensive. August and August is birthday month so just while I'm chopping and talking I'll talk about birthday month August is birthday month for the Cheapskates Club 22 years we've been going 22 long years and it has been a wonderful wonderful journey I have thoroughly enjoyed it so to celebrate we're doing what we do every year. We're having a membership sale. All new Cheapskates Club memberships are just $20 during August. And there's a link below me that says join the Cheapskates Club. If you click that link, it'll take you to the membership application form. And you can fill it out and join. Join a club that teaches you how to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing every day we don't just do it sometimes we do it all the time okay Ick, chicken is so slimy is it not my favorite thing to do all right okay that's another two i'm just keeping them slightly separate and i may even here we go put that back in there so that I've got room on the board, on the mat, to cut the rest up. Okay. Alright, so how are we going? I don't know. I'm talking, so it doesn't take long. Right. Do you like to do dump packs? Have you used dump packs before? I love them. So, so easy. Makes getting dinner on the table quick. I love anything that saves me money, saves me time, saves me energy. Don't packs do that. This poor old knife. Okay. Now these are skinless chicken fillets, chicken breast fillets. Um, no skin on them. I've taken the skin off. I buy them skin on. I refuse to pay an extra two dollars a kilo. Just to get someone else to take the skin off. Because you do not get the equivalent amount of meat for that money. So, okay. Why is this so difficult? There we go. Last one. Chop it. Slide this side. Now, coming into some of these dump packs are handy too because. You can just tick them onto, you don't have to put them in a slow cooker, you can throw them in the fridge and then cook them in the barbecue. You can put meat on skewers and put them in the barbecue. Who doesn't like meat on sticks? Seriously, little sticks. Just makes your regular old chicken sound so much better, doesn't it? You can say it's a, it's a kebab or a skewer. Sounds so much better. Okay. 
Now, all these um, sources for this, these dump packs use pantry ingredients. Simple pantry ingredients. I've made a couple of substitutions and I'll explain those as I go through them for you so that you know. Let me go wash my hands and we'll move on to the next step. It's really quick. Okay. Right. Thank you, Doking. Now, next step is. Writing on the bags. Let me move the chicken up to there. I'm using Ziploc bags and I'm going to put out six. Three. Now, if you are using Ziploc bags or any sort of zippy bag like this, just make sure they're food safe. There's two different kinds. Now, IKEA have great Ziploc bags. They have food safe ones and just regular bags. Always get the food safe ones. Right, now, six bags. Where is my trusty Sharpie? Trusty Sharpie's right here. So we have, let me see, ouch, wash my hands again. Um, I'm going to label the bags, then I'm going to put the sauce ingredients in the bags and then I'll put the chicken in, just so I'm not going backwards and forwards and um, having to wash my hands all the time. Okay, so barbecue chicken. And it is the second of the eight, 23. Barbecue chicken. Tropical chicken. Yum, yum. Second of the eight, 23. Tropical. Twenty eight, twenty three, and a teriyaki. T e double r, t e double r i y a k i chicken. Seventy eight, twenty three. Just spell it right. Yes, I did. T e double r y. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm spelling it out and lost track. Second of the eighth, twenty-three. Right. Okay, teriyaki chicken. Let's get the bags open. I like to fold the tops over a bit. It makes it easy. I don't have one of those fancy bag holder upper things. So if I fold the tops over, I don't spill anything on the zippers. And I'll do them. Okay, teriyaki chicken. One clove of garlic minced. Well, guess what, guys? I haven't got any fresh garlic at the moment. So I am going to get a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon. 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 Um, third of a cup of soy sauce. Let's 
my handy dandy apple green Tupperware measuring cup. Third of a cup of soy sauce. Um, cider vinegar, one and a half tablespoons. Could eyeball it, but for the sake of if it was just me doing it, one, one. One and a half tablespoons brown sugar. So I will need to get the <laughs> this is just homemade brown sugar. Brown sugar. And ginger. Teaspoon of ginger powder. I don't have crushed ginger. I am using ginger powder. I use ginger powder. And all my marinades. It works. I don't buy jars of crushed ginger. I don't buy fresh ginger and I don't grow it. So ginger powder, ground ginger works just as well. Okay, they're done. Now, I'm just going to stick them over here because these have got runny stuff in them. And you don't want anything to go. Right. Tropical chicken. Another can of pineapple chunks. Give me a second. Okay. Tropical chicken. Make sure I'm not leading you astray. This is just a 425 gram can of just algae chicken and juice works really really well open it Let's see if I can. Okay. Anyway. quarter of a cup of packed brown sugar Quarter cup. Uh, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg, I just love nutmeg. Isn't that just gorgeous? Half a teaspoon. Nutmeg. I have oranges because I need orange juice. An orange and get it out of the way. And dandy. I'll put the pineapple in now. <coughs> and into so they stand up. Okay, orange juice. Got a board down, so we didn't want to cut right onto my bench. Right. And I don't have my 
juicer out. So we'll use the all lemon one and see how this works. Beautiful. That works just fine. That's about. Lovely. Right, let me pull it. Put it on the brown sugar before I knock it over. Okay, we've done the pineapple, the brown sugar, the nutmeg, the orange juice, sultanas. Who come? <laughs> I do have tarnas. I didn't get them out. Let me get them out of the stockpile. I'll be right back. Okay. And how many sultanas? Half a cup, I think it says. Oh, that's a half. There we go. The bag broke. Half a cup of tarnas. These tarnas might look old. They will cook up perfectly. They'll just be handy. There we go. Okay. Easy. That's the tropical done. Last is the barbecue. Barbecue chicken. Let me get the cloth and wipe that. Yeah, I splotched. It's a mess. Barbecue chicken. <sighs> Quarter cup of packed brown sugar. In both bags. So let's get the bag standing up. Quarter cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of tomato sauce. Here's my half a cup. Let's see if we've got enough in here. I have to raise the one out of the pantry. needs to stand upside down for a while so I'll put it down here so I remember to do that and I will get tomato sauce out of the pantry. Maybe I'll get tomato sauce out of the pantry. Okay. And in we go. go. Done. Um, packet of French onion soup. I only got one. I was off with the berries. You can use moo French onion soup if you want to. It really doesn't matter. I have these to use up, so I am going to use them. I'm recording a video, Tom. Did you make them? Dump packs, chicken dump packs. I don't know what that means. You dump it into the slow cooker to cook a dinner. Yep, that yep that's a tropical one. This Salt. is the barbecue one, and that's the teriyaki one. Yeah, that's what the recipe says. 
of following a recipe. Are you proud of me? And water. Let me get some water. Okay. Quarter of a cup of water. There we go. Right. Sauces are in the packets. Now, all I have to do is bring in the chicken and put it in in the in the bags, pretty much. Let's bring in the chicken. And you can see now why I wanted to um, do the bags first. Okay, so I'm going to split this in half and do half in there. Whoops, half in there. So it's fairly evenly split. And do the same with this one. Half in there. Half in there. Right. And then teriyaki. Half in there. And half in there. We go. How easy is that? I've got six meals done. I'll show you how how quick it took. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Wash my hands so I can seal the bags up because we are finished. Here we go. Easy peasy. Six dinners done. Pantry ingredients, nothing special. I learned zippy bags. They go into the freezer and when I'm ready to cook with them, they will go into the slow cooker and dinner will be done. There you go. Push them around. Dinner's done in, and it will probably take me five minutes to clean up. So let's see, how long has it taken me to do this? Six dinners, and it's taken me half an hour, not quite half an hour. That's pretty quick. Ten minutes at the most to clean up. Six meals done. Dump packs. If you don't like the idea of um, big batch cooking, dump packs work just as well. And they are tasty and they are cheap and they go great in the freezer. So thank you so much for joining me, watching all the way through. I hope you're enjoying these real-time videos. 
I want to show you that it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It doesn't take a lot of fancy ingredients to put good meals in front of your family every night. It just takes a little thought. And if you can spend five minutes thinking about making chicken dump packs and head over to our website and pick up the um, recipes, and most of the work's done for you. Like I said, pantry ingredients. I didn't have to buy one thing extra to make any of these meals. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up would be very much appreciated. If you are not subscribed to our channel yet, we would be honoured to have you as a subscriber to our channel. And if you want to click that little bell that's next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified every time we upload a new video or we go live. Lastly, if you know someone who might like this video or who might like to know more about the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, even in today's crazy, crazy world, just hit that share button. It will send them a link. We don't harass them. We don't contact them. And it's entirely up to them if they choose to whip, watch the video. Okay, I'll be back very, very soon with another Cheapskates Club video to show you how to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing and save money, time and energy while you're doing it. But until then, happy cheapskating, everybody.